Hi, welcome to this video, uh, this follow-up tutorial on using the calculator. So, today I'm going to teach you the actual functions of these patterns. No more patterns for now, but there is still some, yeah, uh, yeah it's interesting how the buttons will actually work. So, turn it on. So, we'll work our way from the top to the bottom, okay? So, absolute. Absolute, I know you probably remember it from creating a LOL, but absolute value, it's like, if you have negative one, you want to get an absolute value of negative one, you get one. But if you get an absolute value of one, you get one. So, if you also get one, and anyway, so that means if you type in a negative number, It'll give you the positive version of that negative number. But if you type in a positive number, it'll just give you the number without changing it to negative. <coughs> That's it for absolute. Let's move on to x cubed. This is simple. 9 cubed is 9 times 9 times 9. 79. 9 times 9 times 9 is also 79. Okay. And how about this colon? Well, it's... It's not actually for doing this, but you can, you get two different answers. For example, you have 1 plus 1, and you put a colon, and you get 2 plus 2. And you press equals, then you get 1 plus 1, and you press equals again, get 2 plus 2. And press equals again, you go back to 1 plus 1. So this is just a built-in calculator function, but it's not really universally used. Next, to the power of negative 1. Say 9 to the power of negative 1 is 1 divided by 9. x to the power of negative 1 is 1 over x. Mm. Uh, yeah, anyway, that was just... Anyway, factorial. This is not an exclamation mark. I know I've been calling it an exclamation mark, but it's actually called a factorial. And if you get 9... Okay, no, I'm not going to use 9. Uh, 5 factorial. 120. It's actually 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Yeah, the times 1 doesn't really make any difference, but anyway. Yeah, so that's why 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2 times 1, 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1. So it gets bigger exponentially if you get a math error. Yeah, okay, anyway. The thing is, 0 to the... Uh, I mean, 0 factorial... You actually get one. It's just like that. Anyway, you can't get a negative number factor. You actually can, actually, you can, but uh, you can't have a, a factorial. You need to get a whole number. If you put zero point five factorial, you get a math error. Well, it doesn't work that way. Oh, fraction. This is the easiest. Five nine. But this shift, you get. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can do this. And you can also, ch yeah, I'm, I'm going to show that later anyway. Sorry, sorry, I'm getting a bit, yeah. Anyway, this square root symbol is the opposite of, it's the opposite of it. Okay, wait, square root of, uh, what, 64. It's 8, and you can do 8 squared. Yeah, I'm gonna get to that later. Cube root, it's like it's square root of um sixteen. Cube root of six yikes, no. Cube root of what was that? Sixty-four. It's four. And you get four cubed, it's sixty-four. So cube root of x cubed is x and square root of x squared is x. Anyway, let's go to square. It's simple. I already told you what it is. Multiply by itself. 25 times 25. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 squared is also 4. <coughs> okay. This DEC will have to go to the... Uh, uh, what is it called? Base and in order to use it. I'm going to get to that later. To the power. Simple. It's like... It's like... I already showed you 2 squared is 2 times 2. So, 
5 to the power of 5 is 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Multiply, uh, repeat it 5 times. Simple enough. This one, it's like cute root and you can change the number over here. Blah, blah, blah. Boom. <laughs> wow. Okay, anyway, log. This log is actually used for, it's the opposite of 10 to the power of something. So 10 to the power of log, 10 to the power of x is actually x. <coughs> so you can, you can use it to count how many zeros there are inside mine. And you can also put, if you want less, less, you know, type it faster, but they'll be less accurate. It'll only work for a very, very, very big number. You see, 4.99956567. If you press it enough, it will just round it up 18. Anyway, it's that's cheating. So, there's also 10 to the power of something. Woo. Simple. Yikes. Yeah, I know. Instead of typing 10 to the power of this, you can just press this and it will give you the exact same thing. LN. LN works with e this e over here e to the power of you can put in ln e to the power of anything x x and you get x back at the end so you can okay later i'll talk, tell you show you where what's e later that's later so minus negative obviously you know what this is a it's just a variable I'll show you how to set variables later. This is a degree sign. You can type in nine degrees. And I'll give you nine degrees, zero seconds and uh, zero minutes and zero seconds. Anyway, minutes and seconds it's not the time, but yeah, you can use it for calculating time. For example, you started out at ten o'clock ten o'clock and zero seconds. And zero minutes, zero seconds, and you took uh, a walk for f eight minutes and forty six seconds, and it'll add it add it up for you. So yeah, but that's cheating. Anyway, how about this arrow over here? I'm not exactly very sure what this arrow is. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it'll. It just helps you change it to degrees, yeah. For example, if you're 99, you change it to degrees and you can also change it back. Anyway, it's, it works both ways. Hype! Oh, if you press HYP, you get a whole list of this. You see this s-i-n-h c-o-s-h t-n-h s-i-n-h the power of minus one all that it's just uh, a different it's different types of sine cosine tangent it's math functions i'm just ignoring that for now c is a variable b is also a variable i missed out that anyway sine <coughs> sine it's just some sign. I'm just gonna teach you some stuff. Sign ninety is one. Sign zero is zero. Sign minus ninety is minus one. Sign one eighty is zero. Sign two hundred seventy. Eh, sorry. Sign two hundred seventy is two hundred seventy. Ah, minus one and sign three six zero is zero. Okay. Sine minus 1 is just the opposite of sine. Sine minus 1. Sine minus 1 of sine x. Okay, x. Gives you back x. <coughs> Same thing for cosine. Cosine 0 is 1. Cosine 90 is... It's like the total opposite of sine. Anyway, same thing. Cosine of cosine minus 1. X is... Yeah. D and E are also variables. F is also a variable. 10. Same thing. 10. It's 1. 10. 0 is 0. But 10. 90 is a select error. A uh, math error. Sorry. Because 10. 90 is actually infinity. But if you get something like. Um, let's see. 10. 90. Equals to. Minus 1.995. 
or you have something like um, 6.3135 whatever uh, please press clear all then try again I, I mean 1090 okay. yeah if this is viable I already told you this RCL Nine RCL. This RCL is actually for doing ah uh, whatever what the the RCL nine. No, I don't know how to use RCL. Sorry, ha. Huh, but STO I know. So for example, you have uh you want to set variable to A. You want to set A to maybe one hundred. Then you press one hundred. Actually, wait, 100. Shift RCL. Which is STO. Press A. And you get 100. Arrow A. That's how I do the Obama dead yay. Then, if you type in A again, that's 100. So, let me set it back to 0. Okay. <coughs> ENG. Okay, what is that? ENG. Whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's scientific. <coughs> until you can't press anymore what you do is press the arrows key until you get back to what you yeah you can get as small and normal and very very big whatever in G bracket definitely you know what that is anyway percent 99 percent is 99 over 100 so if there's ninety nine percent off, you get ninety. You have only have to pay ninety nine over one hundred of the price. I mean one, one over one hundred of the price. Cause one minus ninety nine. Whatever. Why am I suddenly getting it? Okay. Anyway, close bracket. Simple. <coughs> comma. It's only used for this remnant. Zero comma one. It'll give you a random energy. Okay, anyway, that's that's slip for later. X is a variable, say for Y and M. <coughs> so, this S over D, I need to show you some fractions in order to do it. Actually, wait. Okay. So, S to D, it changes it from the fraction to decimal. Simple enough. <coughs> but if you press Shift, then then you will get this it's called the mixed number you can change it back and forth <coughs> yeah and yeah oops sorry okay that's done M it's just to set M to something okay, let me how do you turn ah clear all whatever Okay, M minus is 8. M minus, yeah, whatever, 8. Clear all. 7. Okay, I'm not gonna go through what's 7, what's, what's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. You should know what's D, L, and A, C. You probably know what's I, N, S, right? I, N, S is to change the arrow cut type, so you know this, X. To type in negative, you are. I've already taught you this. This is lame. Clear is to clear all. You can clear the setup, which is like in what mode you are. Memory is what is the values for A, B, C, D, E, F, X, Y, M. Or you can also clear all. Okay. Da okay. What's what's plus minus times divide? Whatever. What's NPR? I don't know, but if you type in 5 NPR 5, you get 120. If you get, you can just explore this if you know what this is. Please tell me. I'm not it's very sure. Same for NCR. I think NCR is the opposite of NPR or something. Anyway, what's Paul? Paul 1, Cinex 0, 5, like there. Paul Rec 1 Okay, I don't know what, what this Paul is But anyway, it's, you can, if you want to type P-O-L, you can just use this or R-E-C, whatever 
Okay, times 10 to the power of x, it's simply just like 1 9, 19 times 10 to the power of 9 uh, 16, you get 9, 9, you'll get 19, followed by 16 zeros. Simple enough. And R and D, this is rounding up. If you have one point, blah, 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 you go. Oh, wait. Uh, uh actually, what? Okay, sorry. Again, I don't know what this is. Random number gives you a random fraction. You can just keep doing this. Random integer is get a random integer f from the range. Zero, one, zero, one. You can do a coin flipping with this thing. Anyway, pi. Pi, you probably already know. 3.14159265359, whatever. E is the natural number. I already told you. i revealing what E actually is. <coughs> DRG. You can type in degrees. You can type in radians. You can type in grads. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're just differently. For example, if you have 10... 10 of 90 degree so you get a math error but if you have 10 of 90 radians you get this which is what i showed you and also gradients you get this i also showed you that um equals is equals yeah so yeah i want to show you one last trick every every time i have a nugget right one times one hundred it's actually times ten to the power of zero. One times one hundred equals one. Yeah. So that's the end. Thanks for watching.